So here we have the PGH 15,000 gas fan heater that's uh, recently come on the market. Uh, this is a butane or propane uh, burner powered uh, heater with a 25 watt fan that's powered by mains uh, for heating of ventilated spaces, especially during winter uh, for a garage or a shed or your workshop. Uh, as you can see uh, in the middle, it has a burner plate that uh, allows the gas to come out, a piezo ignition element uh, that's actuated here, and uh, fan and uh, gas solenoid and some additional protection we have here. Uh, the gas input is via this threaded uh, connector on the back. This is quarter inch uh, left-handed uh, thread and we also have a mains power wire coming uh, out the back. So let's first take a quick look at the manual. So as far as capabilities, uh, this promises 15,000 watts of uh, heating energy. That should be plenty for any decently sized shop. Let me just switch over here to the German manual. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only one we have. So here you have all the details as far as gas usage and connections. Uh, it comes with its own uh, 700 millibar gas regulator uh, that you can see I have strung up onto this ingenious uh, construction. So this is the gas valve that's included, uh, again with a quarter inch thread, and uh, this hose is also included. So everything from here here on upwards is included uh, with the heater. Um, this is just my adapted construction of 180 gram pierceable gas cartridge that goes to 7 uh, unified national extra fine. This goes to an 3 8 left-handed uh, BST fitting and then there's an adapter from 3 8 British to uh, W21.8 by 1 14th inch uh, that then fits your standard uh, Central European gas regulator. So uh, for uh, running this device, uh, once you have gas and mains connected, uh, we have these three controls on the front. So uh, we have our main switch that will just activate uh, the fan, as you can hear. There's also a uh, mains powered uh, gas solenoid valve, uh, just to protect if the device is turned off or mains power is lost and the fan stops blowing, this thing could overheat with the flame still burning. So that's uh, the mains protection valve. And then there's an additional secondary uh, thermal protection system that's based on a second valve uh, that protects from over temperature and also blowout prevention. So there's three safety elements here. Over temperature, there's a bimetal switch that cuts the gas. If the flame is blown out, but gas is still flowing, that valve will also close. And if mains power is lost turning off the fan, the separate uh, mains actuated gas valve will also deactivate. So the starting procedure here is to turn on uh, mains power, uh, hold in the gas valve here, and fire the uh, piezo igniter a couple of times. The flame comes on, you keep holding the red gas button for five to 10, 20 seconds, and and once you release it, the uh, burner uh, should be going. As you can see, uh, it's producing a nice constant flame. And the outside heater shroud, since it's uh, encircled by blown air from the fan, never gets too hot to touch. Um, in the front, we also have uh, this little uh, front piece that you can mount for uh, better air circulation. But uh, that's the basic functioning of the device. So as you can see, uh, it's fairly into uh 
integrated with these two gas shouts, so a couple of uh, screws to take apart to disassemble it. Uh, since it's a bit tricky, I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back in just a second where we can take a deeper look at what makes this thing tick. So here we have the disassembled internals of the uh, gas heater. Uh, disassembly was a bit tricky. We had the external and internal uh, heater shroud that needed to be split and the whole thing had to slide off the front of this burner assembly with uh, many of the screws having to be removed and uh, some ground connections. So all in all a little bit uh, fiddly but uh, definitely uh, worth it to see how this thing works. So as you can see here on the back we have our asynchronous uh, fan motor. This is a 25 watt uh, uh, 1.3 k rpm uh, motor that is uh, driving the blower to cool the burner and spread the heat throughout the room. And then we have our main controls on the body. So we have our uh, gas valve that we need to actuate uh, uh, to start the gas flow. We have our mains switch that turns on the fan and also enables a uh, gas valve inside. And we have our piezo uh, starter unit. So uh, if we tip this uh, up, we can actually see the super simple uh, internals on this device. So as you can see, there is no sign of circuit board, no ICs doing any type of uh, over temperature control or any other safety functions. This is all uh, done analogly in a very elegant and simple way. So as you can see here, we have our uh, double pole single throw switch that is uh, carrying three connections on each pole. So we have our mains in coming from our cable uh, that's just hidden in this corner here. So we have mains in on both the live and neutral side. And then we have two devices being powered. These two uh, canvas covered wires that sort of loop around, they go to the mains powered solenoid that is in the gas path. And they also go around to the fan wire to run the fan. So when you uh, turn the switch, uh, it activates the fan and enables the mains powered gas solenoid. But as you can see here in the gas flow, we actually have two devices uh, that are restricting the uh, input out of the uh, screw thread on the back. So this first device here is our uh, safety uh, gas valve. Uh, that handles both the uh, over temperature function and the uh, blowout safety. So if the flame is blown out, uh, gas will stop flowing. And uh, this is solved in a very elegant way. So the way you actually operate this, you turn the device on, the fan spins, you hold in the gas valve, uh, as I explained earlier, and then you hit the piezo igniter. So what happens here, as we can see, uh, at the front of this burner element here we have our uh, piezo spark uh, then we have our thermocouple that is going to be very interesting in a moment here and we have our uh, thermal cutout switch that is just uh, sitting on the top of the shroud here this is uh, a very simple bimetal uh, switch rated at uh, 90 degrees celsius and uh, it carries these two wires off the back end so as i said once the switch is on the mains power gas solenoid is activated but this valve here is closed so when one pushes the the red button on the front, uh, you depress the uh, valve that is blocking the gas flow. Uh, but in a few seconds, you are able to release this button and gas flow continues. So what is going on here? Uh, here on top, we have our thermo uh, electric uh, uh, thermocouple that is actually generating a tens of millivolts uh, voltage just by thermoelectric effect. And it's feeding it down these very thick, I think these are like 1.3 millimeter copper wires, uh, are feeding it down uh, towards this safety gas valve. Uh, the thermocouple is connected in series. Uh, you probably can't really see that, but it goes through the uh, thermal cutout switch. Again, using very thick, this is some kind of braided steel wire that's crimped on. But the connection
transmission from our thermocouple goes through our uh, over temperature switch and comes down to the safety gas valve. And this valve inside contains a small coil of wire that uh, creates the necessary magnetic field to hold this valve in once you've pushed it. So it isn't really a solenoid that can pull the valve in by its own energy, but it's more of a latch that when you push the uh, initial valve in, it may stays latched as long as there is heat on the thermocouple. I was really impressed by uh, the setup of the system, how simple and elegant it was so I've made a second video actually demonstrating how this works uh, you can see that uh, on the card above or a link at the end of the video um, very elegant solution to maintain over temperature and uh, blowout uh, safety on this kind of device otherwise we just have our gas flow then when both of these valves are open it uh, flows into this uh, burner pipe and uh, comes out the front here where it is ignited and then uh, since we have the uh, shroud surrounding this uh, air is blown both through this burner assembly around the side and of course uh, around the outer uh, shroud that we have there so actually the outside of the heater never actually gets uh, too warm to handle. So definitely a very elegant and cool solution. Uh, super simple, super effective. Otherwise, we just have our ground connection here uh, to the shroud and uh, uh, a very useful uh, heater for uh, the outdoors during the winter. So thanks for watching this video. Do check out our uh, thermoelectrically powered safety valve. Very interesting in its own right. And uh, do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.